At Intel, we, we envision that by 2015, there will be 15 billion connected devices. And the interesting thing is only a small fraction of those will be the typical laptop that, or a PC that you would think of. And the vast majority of them will be these embedded type devices. So as we um, start to see things get connected to the internet, they're going to want that intelligence, that connection and security that will go with the Intel architecture. Okay, I think LabVIEW certainly is a productivity tool for both scientists and engineers. It enables people to basically use existing building blocks and a visual format, it thinks the way an engineer thinks. Um, and in doing so, it can enable somebody to do in, say, six months what would typically take two, three years if they were to go handwrite their own code. And I think what we see with technology transitions nowadays, more and more work is being done in software and more and more lines of code are being required. So if you have a productivity tool like a lab view, you're actually able to, again, speed yourself in getting to market, which is usually something that's imperative for um, innovative companies. Well, I'm really excited because I think in the future, Intel will continue to work closely with the National Instruments. That'll enable the Compaq Rio and other product lines that National Instruments has to continue to extend down and again, look at things like software portability across those platforms as they continue to use Intel-based architecture. Um, so I'm excited about the future of where these product lines can go and, and all the innovation that could happen on them in the future.